chapter 7, lesson 2, is about division without regrouping and remainder. So usually when it's without regrouping and remainder, these are typically mental division. However, we cannot force our kids to do mentally if, in the, if they can't do it. So if, if they need to write it down, then we assist them so that they can think mentally together with that writing down. So um, again, the reminders for this lesson would be uh, they need to do the divide, then the multiply, then the subtract, then the bring down. Okay, and they need to keep practicing the finger counting of tables of twos, tables of five, 10, three, four, six, seven, eight, and nine. So if they don't wanna recite it, let them write it down on a piece of paper in random order. Okay, so uh, the problems come from page 138. Okay. Okay, so um, if we cover the zero and we look at 64, so I'll, I'll write it down here so that you see 640 divided by eight. So if we cover the zero, the kids should be able to see that that's eight times eight is 64. So by using flashcards, it helps them visualize and see that. So um, if they can see that, then all they have to do is put the eight and then add a zero in the end. But if they can't visually do that, then they have no choice but to write it down and go through the division process. So that means this is, again, count by eights until you get to 64 without going over. That happens to be eight. Okay, then eight times eight is 64. Then we subtract. Okay, then this is, we bring down. So a lot of kids will uh, forget to divide this last step. So remember, zero divided by eight is zero. So there are no eights in zero. So most kids will just put the eight and forget the zero, but we need to remind the kids that they have to go through the process. So after we divide, we multiply zero, then we subtract, and then we end with a zero. So we need to train our kids to go through the complete process until the very end. That does not teach them to be lazy. Okay, the other problem is 642 divided by two. So again, if you can show your kids how to do this mentally, it's from the left to the right. If these numbers, each of them are divisible because it's even, then it's easy to teach it. So this will be six divided by two is three. And then four divided by two is two. And one, two divided by two is one. So that would make it 321. But if you're fearing teaching that to your kids, then you need to show structure. So that means 642 divided by two. So we start with a division. So six divided by two is three. Multiply six, subtract zero. Then bring down four. Okay, then we divide again because it's a repeated process. So four divided by two is two. Multiply four. Then we subtract and then we bring down. Finally, we divide again because again, it's a repeated process. Divide, that's one. Multiply, that's two. And we end with a zero. Since the problem, the lesson says there's no remainder, it should end with a zero. But if there's no mention that there's no remainder, then we continue until there's either a zero or a remainder in the end. That concludes lesson two of chapter seven. See you in the next lesson.